We're here today looking at an exhibition called Pricked Extreme Embroidery, which surveys work by artists from 17 countries using a very beloved and time-tested technique. This exhibition fulfills the museum's goal of looking at how art, craft, and design come together today in extraordinary ways. What you're looking at here is an embroidery by Mark Newport, an American artist. He's one of several men in the show. Mark has dealt with some important issues in his own life about identity and the concept of the hero. And he especially explores the idea of male heroes and what they mean in contemporary culture. He has taken pages from popular comic books depicting superheroes and embroidered on top of them in certain places to give it a real textural feel. And in an interesting way, that cover becomes a protection shield, very much like the superheroes that they depict. We're here on the top floor, standing beside the largest work in the exhibition, a long embroidered scrim by Elaine Rychek. Her work includes an embroidered message. It is the first words ever sent by Morse code in this country, what hath God wrought? It also includes Morse's own handwriting of the sentence in which he describes the event. In an ironic sense, these first words that changed communication in America have been caught in embroidery in this blue ethereal cloud as if the words were fading off into the distance. Pricked Extreme Embroidery has work from artists from 17 different countries. Many of these artists work in unorthodox ways, ways that you would not expect to see embroidery used. One of the artists we're very pleased to have in the show is the Chinese-born artist Zhang Yang, who's contributed one piece to the very political section of this exhibition. As you can see, it's a long, hanging piece of sculpture. There are portraits of George Bush and Saddam Hussein at either end, and around the portraits, the artist has added stitches of embroidery thread that are pulled the entire length of the work of art and then re-stitched into the other side. What this creates is an incredible effect, like a tunnel, and as you walk past the work, you see these faces morph into each other. We think exhibitions like this are an important way to remind people that in a virtual world, those objects made by hand are even more and more important.